All right, I'm here with Ken Welch and he's going to show us how to um, extend our screens onto the smart board and then we'll be able to share our smart board with the students rather than just point a camera at ourselves standing in front of a smart board. Exactly, and one of the m probably main benefits to that is if you're a laptop user, which most people are these days, uh, you can throw your laptop right next to the smart board on a chair, desk, table, what have you, and while you're working on the smart board, which you're presenting to the students, you can see your students on the laptop. Um, you can make sure they're paying attention, they're following along, if they look confused, anything like that. Obviously, these are huge cues in the classroom. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by creating a meeting. Let's call this Ken's Meet. So most of you should be familiar with this already. Uh, we'll go ahead and hop in, join now. And he's in Google Meet right now. Google Meet, but the process is very similar for Zoom. Zoom can do the same exact thing. Um, so if you have a laptop at this point, you would be seeing yourself on the webcam. Um, but what we wanna do is go from being in duplicate mode to extend mode. And the way you do that is by pressing the Windows key and P on your keyboard. That'll bring up that window and then you can cycle through and whichever one you land on, you let go of the Windows key, it'll put you in that mode or you can click it with the mouse, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. Once we're in extended mode, we can see we still have our Google Meet here, but if Ernie pans over to the smart board, we have a blank canvas over there that we can use to present to our students. Mm -hmm. So if we come back over to Google Meet, the way we make that happen is we go to present now and we select our entire screen. And then now that we have two displays, you'll have two options for what you want to uh, present. So obviously we wanna present our blank canvas. So we'll go ahead and select that. So now any students in our meet will have a nice big view of whatever is on that screen. Currently it's blank, but perhaps we wanted to open up Smart Notebook because we had a, uh, we have a lesson in there or something like that. Once Smart Notebook pops up, and this works for really anything. If you have a document camera, you can pull up the document camera software. You can pull up a YouTube video, Starfall. Options are limitless. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and close this guy and maybe Smart Notebook didn't open because of that. Let's try that again. It helps to read the pop-ups. Mm -hmm. And to activate that, Ken, what uh, keys were you using down here to have that left side pop up where they can see where to choose? Oh, Windows key P. Is that what you're talking about here? This well, guy? that was Windows keys P, but once you went over here and selected the smart notebook, oh. you had a menu over here and you did some pretty neat uh, tricks there with the, the keyboard. What, what did you do? Oh, to, to pull up Smart Notebook. Okay. Yeah. I just used the Start Menu, which is very underutilized these days. This is true. Yeah, the Start Menu houses basically all of your applications in alphabetical order. Uh, there's a few weird applications that may not show up in here, mm -hmm. but nine times out of ten, they're going to be in here. So there's your Smart awesome. Technology so that's just stuff. the menu, the menu, Windows Menu, actually. Yes, and okay. something a lot of people don't know, once you open the Smart Start Menu, you don't even need to click down here to start searching, but we can type in, say we want the camera app. Comes right up if you type in CAM. Yeah, it is, right. Say we want the calculator was right there. Say we want smart notebook. We there type that in, it comes up. Yeah. So one-stop shop for all your programs. Nice. You want a Word, there's Microsoft Word. It's ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ken Welch. Very good, thank you. So anyways, uh, smart notebook. We have it on our screen. Let's say we loaded up a, a presentation for the kids on here. So Windows, by default, what it does is whenever it sees you have more than one display, it just assumes, starting from your first original display, that you're adding one to the right. So it thinks your smart board is sitting right here. Okay. So what you need to do is grab the top bar just like you would on any other window. Right. It has to be this top about inch or so up here. Yeah. You grab that and move it on over. Move it on over. Now, if Ernie pans over to the smart board, you can actually see that guy coming Look in at that. over there. Move it on over because yes. the big dog move in it. Exactly. So I'm going to do something fancy, what's called a window snap feature. If I snap it up to the top, you can kind of see that animation there. Yeah. That shows you what it's going to do. Bing, bang, boom. Bam, snap, and roo. So there now your is. kids can see that blank smart notebook. And you can come over to the smart board. 
and begin your lesson. Once right. the pens start working. So you can do whatever you need to do. Uh, kids will see this and only this. You can have your kids on the other screen paying attention to their reactions. Uh, you can maybe take notes on the kids on the other screen. Correct. Uh, options are limitless. This is here for you guys to play with and make this your own. Um, and that's, that's the gist of extended display. Uh, for those of you, like I said, with a laptop, it might be good to set it right here. Mm -hmm. uh, just for the microphone to be close enough, you don't have to yell at your class. Um, and then just, again, easier to see your kids. And if you set your, uh, just, to, just to kind of clear this up, if you set the laptop here, I know it's not one there, yep. um, could they plug in then into the smart board? Yep, we have HDMI and USB here. And then there's some in the back as well, but this is the most easily accessible. So they just plug right in there. It tells you HDMI 2, so you have to go to your input settings and grab that HDMI 2 and you'll be good to go. All right, so that would extend your monitor. Extend your monitor, extend your lessons. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Welch. No problem. That's Ken Welch here at Beardsley School District.